Okay, hey guys, um, want to make another turtle video. I've been looking through Reddit and I've seen that a lot of people have concerns about malnourishment with their turtles and, um, you know, shell rot and stuff like that. I do cover those topics in my earlier videos if you want to go check that out. Um, but yeah, so for the most part, you know, as you can see with my turtles, they're pretty healthy for the most part. Um, just give me an example of what a healthy turtle should look like. Um, and some of the next photos or whatever I'm going to show you. So basically I was in college and I came back and my turtles had like a bunch of algae on their shells or whatever. And it's not really that scary. All you have to do is just wash it off. I usually put them in the sink and I put like, you know, lightly um, drizzle water on them so I can like, you know, wash it off and whatever. But, you know, it's pretty okay. Um, but yeah, the shell rot thing and the malnourishment. So basically if you obviously go to the vet, but if you don't want to go to the vet, a couple things you can do to help is, you know, feed them regularly. I tell you what, um, I have a whole nother video telling you what type of pellets to feed them. I think it's one of my first videos, I think. Um, yeah, so and if, if you can't see it, just tell me in the comments, I'll make another video about it. But um, yeah, so basically keep, keep feeding them regularly. If you're not feeding them enough, you know, keep feeding them. Um, don't feed them too much because sometimes they will get like, you know, kind of stretch marks on their bottom shell. Um, because, you know, they're, you know, they're growing faster than their shell can keep up with. So, I guess it's, like, their version of stretch marks. But, um, yeah, if you really want to take care of your turtle and try to help them bounce back, um, basically, I know people have this trend where they like to use, like, special kinds of water for their tank. Honestly, I just use tap water. Like, uh, just keep it plain and simple. I, I, I don't use bottled water in my tanks. I use tap water, um, for the most part. And I just use a regular filter, um... I'll show you in a video what filter I use. My tanks are not that big. They're pretty small. But, um, yeah, I'll do that in a later video. But, um, yeah, so my turtles, usually, to help them bounce back, this is what I do, and this is not, like, not saying you should do this, but, like, if you want to, just to mix it up a little bit, take them out of their tank and then let them crawl around the floor or whatever. I feel like somehow that... Is a lot healthier than being in that recycled water because when you think about it that water even if you have a filter or whatever most of that water is recycled piss and shit like le they're literally just sitting in their own little stew for most of it um even if you have a filter i mean the water keeps getting recycled and i feel like that doesn't really help their immune system at all i feel like that does have negative effects to other um if you have fish in your tank with them that can harm the fish that can harm them vice versa it's just certain types of bacteria they don't need to be around for that long that's why i take them out the tank put them on the floor so they can stretch their legs and they can get some fresher air kind of because um keeping them in those tanks forever it just seems gross you know like they're going to get sick eventually um especially if your turtles have been attacked recently what you need to do is separate the two turtles, or if there are more turtles, separate all of them into different tanks or something like that. And then also take some of them out and let them crawl around individually. Um, this really does miracles with your turtle. For some reason, my turtles have like a better attitude when they're out the tank for um, a short period of time. Like you don't even have to take them out for that long. You can take them out for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour heck, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, just something, because I feel like it's when your turtle's in a tank all by themselves, or if they have other people in the tank and it gets a little crowded, or, you know, if they're just in the tank in general, they're going to get bored and depressed, and they're not going to really want to, um, I don't know, I feel like that kind of affects them, their health, like, you know how mental health is just as well as physical health, that kind of applies to turtles too, it's like, if turtles get bored, they're not going to give a shit, you know, they're, they're, they're going to kind of, um, have their health deteriorate a little bit so yeah let them get out and it also helps their nails like if their nails get like really long i feel like crawling on the floor or whatever it kind of helps defile their nails a little bit so maybe that'll help them too also just the fact that you know it's a glass tank and they might actually like having a hard surface to crawl on because no offense but those basking things you have in their tanks it doesn't do much. It's literally like a little, it's like a, a chair for them. They don't get to crawl around. That's the only surface they ever get to experience. And I feel like if they have like a nice surface on the floor or something like that, they can crawl around on while you're watching them. It'll be a, really healthy for them. Also, it helps their um, curiosity to explore. And this video is basically just talking about the, how mental health of the turtle can also affect the physical health of the turtle. Like, just make sure it's comfortable. Like, turtles don't want to like swim around the entire tank over and over and over again. Uh, just take them out as much as possible. Keep feeding them. Um, there are some shell products that you can use to help with, um, 
shell rot. I say it on other videos, uh, talk about shell rot or whatever and how you can um, prevent that and how you can maintain that. Um, just don't let it get too far to the point where, you know, the turtle lily is about to die, you know, because it does shell rot. It, it's not fatal, but it definitely could be fatal if it happens for a long period of time. You need to give your turtles um, some time to actually, you know, rejuvenate and you need to give your turtles some time to actually help them. Because honestly, if you just keep them in that same tank over and over again, like the recycled water and stuff like that, that can't be good for your health. Like, no offense, you, like, when you think about yourself and when you're in your house, you have to go outside at least sometime. You know, you need some fresh air. You need something. Heck, sometimes I, in the summertime, I take my turtles out on the lawn, and I'm, I'm right next to them because I, I don't want them to get attacked by predators or anything because they're, like, really small. But, um... Yeah, just getting some, getting them some fresh air. It really helps their mood. They don't act so cranky or, you know. And it's just, it's just better. You trust me. You'll see it when you do it. It'll, <laughs> it'll be really beneficial for the turtles. God, I can't speak today. But um, yeah. So when you do that, you know, just make sure. Um, do not clip your turtles' nails. Oh my God. Um, I've seen a couple of posts where people said I clip my turtles' nails. D don't do it because. Their nails, they're going to need their nails. Like, that's going to piss them off. And when you try to clip their nails or whatever, it does hurt the turtle because they can probably feel it. And their nails grow a little bit differently than most mammals because they're reptiles. Do not clip their nails. They won't. It's it's just suffering. Like, you know, that's like you might as well just cut their whole entire foot off. But like, yeah, don't clip their nails. That's what I'm saying. Like, take them out. Let them defile their nails on the floor or on the surface. Um, they will start to shed a lot, um, but that's all right, because that's, that's just their body. Do not leave them out for more than eight hours, because if you do, then they will start to get dehydrated and die. They need to go in water at some point, but, um, having a good balance is really important. Um, make sure if your eyes, if your turtle eyes are puffy, that's what I'm saying, go to the vet if it's, like, really, really severe. Um, but if you really don't want to go to the vet, and I can understand that, I'm not judging you in any way, shape, or form, um, I hopefully these tips help to, help your turtle bounce back. Um, especially if you're, you know, if they're a baby or whatever, they really do need that nourishment. You just need to give them a little bit more attention. Sometimes just like if you have, if your turtle trusts you or not, you know, you can try rubbing um, the back of its head or whatever, just trying to give it more attention. You know, mental health is just as well as physical health can really help. Um, there are turtle products at Petco and PetSmart that can really help you help your turtle out with a shell. Um, they have stuff for like soft soft shell disease, I think it's called, to help your turtle harden its shell. Um, there are like supplements that you can feed it. Sometimes feeding, changing the food. I have a whole video on that too. Um, how changing our diet can really help them. Sometimes you buy them fish so they can hunt, so they can have some excitement. Um, but yeah, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to help your turtle out in this department. Um, but if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I know this. I've been fumbling around my words in this entire video. It's just hard to articulate because, you know, allergies. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys have a great day. And this has been an episode of The Turtle Truth. And see you guys.